Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Border City Rock Talk. You get great news, great interviews, great interviewees, and sometimes a comedic touch. Uh, today I've got Sammy Lee from Red Rain. How are you doing, Sammy? I'm doing great, thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, man. Well, I had to. When I heard uh, one of your tunes, uh, Don't Look Back, uh, I, I could not not have you on the show. Um, it's got a unique sound, but we'll get into that in a moment. Um, people are going to be dying to know. Well, I think they're going to know, but... Uh, tell us about the band. Who's in the band? I know that you have a EP that was released in 2019, and then on the 27th, I believe, of this month, your um, debut full album, uh, Don't Look Back, is being released. So just tell us who's in the band, my friend. Sure, that's correct. And uh, so I, I am the drummer of the band and sort of do most of the business work for the band, but uh, lead singer is Carlton, uh, quote unquote, Bubba McMichael, goes Bob Bubba. Uh, Stevie Shred is our lead guitar player. Uh, Bubba also plays guitar, lead rhythm. Steve plays lead rhythm, uh, backup vocals. And Larry Moore is our bass player and uh, backup vocals. I do not sing. I uh, I have been told to stay away from the mic or they'll they'll cut my lips off. So uh, <laughs> I'm good with that. Right on. So I I I I I I was listening to the unique names of Stevie Shred and Larry Moore. Obviously, Larry Moore is not his real name. No, Larry Moore is his real name. No, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, Stevie yeah. Shred. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Um, just, so, uh, just for uh, and Sammy Lee's not my real name. Sammy is, but Lee is not. Oh, okay. Well, it right. Well, yeah. it doesn't rhyme, but it's catchy. I stole it from David Lee Roth and Tommy Lee. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big Van Halen fan. David Lee uh, and Tommy Lee. So that's where I stole it from. Yeah, that's I a, fully admit that. Yeah. That because you're like me, we're uh, we're '80s rockers by by uh, by heart, right? Yeah, yeah. So love it. So speaking love of it. '80s rockers, um, when I did hear "Don't Look Back," it was sent to me by your publicist. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't even have a chance to read up on the bio. Um, I, I was taken aback by the song, and I really actually thought, "Holy shit, this sounds like." And then it is. Tell uh, tell the viewers who you like. You must be pretty big because. You don't just swindle this guy into uh, play on your album. This guy is huge. Tell tell us about that and who. Yes, we were very fortunate to rope in George Lynch of Doc and Lynch Mob, wow. um, and amongst other bands that he's in. And uh, we were very fortunate to get him. He was very cordial and very open to playing on this song, and we couldn't be more proud that we have. I was watching a few of uh, your interviews. I think I watched one. Uh, was it with? Uh, it was a classic metal with uh, Neely and Chris. Neely and Chris, yes. Yeah, and you're 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 talking about the story on how how great George was in the way that he was offering his services, and you guys didn't have the album done completely. It was like eighty five percent, but he was respectful enough to say, "Hey, I want to get this done for you guys, and I'm leaving for Germany." Like talk, like talk right. about what a humble person because. Somebody with that kind of a pedigree and all the things on his plate would have just said, well, if they don't call me by Friday, I'm just leaving town. But he, he got a hold of you, didn't he? That's absolutely true. So uh, I'll step back a little bit and give you a little bit of the story. Uh, when uh, we, were, we were kind of on a big high uh, before COVID hit. We were on tour with Tesla, which we've been on and off tour with them uh, since 2017. Had some shows booked. COVID hit. Boom, slam. That's done. We all know that. Uh the, the band has had 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 a pretty good ride till then, and then it just died off like everybody else. I I knew we were going to do an album, and I wanted to make a big splash when the album was coming out. So um, Chris Aiken and Neely of the Classic Metal Show really have been instrumental in getting Red Rain off the ground in general. Mm -hmm. Neely and I have known each other for 20 years, Chris and I, 10 plus. Uh, and Neely is very good friends with the Doc and Camp, all of them. So I called Neely and asked if he would... I, I called in a favor and Neely's always been gracious to us. And he called George Lynch and boom, you know, now that's history, but you're right. We were, we, um, we got in the studio, we laid down most of the tracks to, to the song. Don't look back. George did reach out to us and said, Hey guys, I, all of a sudden I have to leave for Germany really want to get this done. So we sent him really the song was basically done. The final vocals were not done. Um, and we sent it to him and he knocked it out. He knocked it out, I think, in a couple hours. Um, but he actually was writing back and forth. And um, and our producer at the time, David Ivory, which we'll get into a little bit later, 
was unavailable. Chip was unavailable. And so that left me and I was copied on the email and he said, what's your phone number? And so five minutes later, I'm on the, I'm on the phone with George Lynch. Um, being a drummer, um, you know, I'm, mine would be Alex Van Halen or Tommy Aldridge or that, but, uh, and, and to play with some of the bands we played, I've never really been shell shocked, little shell shocked talking to George Lynch on my phone. I can imagine. And you know what the great thing is about um, this bringing us together, talking about uh, Red Rain. But um, I mean, obviously, the George Lynch thing is huge. I just finished interviewing Don Dawkin about a week ago. And um, it, it's good to know that Don and George are, are back um, in, in a way that they, they get along. I think there's some friendship. I don't think I think for some reason, Don shies away from using those words, his, pers his personality. But the fact that they've got some sure. shows coming up is is really great news for for fans of that genre. Now, Hailstorm, you're also, uh, you've got so many big names in your camp, man. How did you get Hailstorm involved uh, producing? Well, Hailstorm really is, it's um, that might be a little misconception. Our producer had worked with Hailstorm in the early days. Right, excuse me, you know what? Yes. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, just one is, um, but our producer, uh, again, I mentioned earlier is David Ivory, mm -hmm. and uh, David uh, was a wonderful find by by Chip, uh, who is our publicist. And um, excuse me. Sure. And um, the first EP that you mentioned, uh, David did got to really know David. It was a great EP. We had some really good uh, stuff off that EP, and that served us very well. As we did tour with some bigger names, and if you, since you mentioned Hailstorm and doing that, I will I will tell you some of the names we toured with just to throw out there. Uh, which we toured with Dokken. We we played shows with Lita Ford, uh, Kicks, Jackal, Winger. Uh, we toured with Tesla and, y and Firehouse. T. And that, that's good. Y&T. We did. Right. We played a show with Y&T. So, yeah, we did a lot of those shows, a lot of those bands. But David uh, really is the catalyst to help us with the songs it, that, that really brought the songs to life. And what I mean by that, and I've said this in every interview, and I like to reiterate this, when you find a producer who – believes in your in your values and your song and your ideas in the song um it doesn't come in and says scraps it and says now nah, we're not doing this with david took our beliefs our songs our meanings and elevated them because you know we're a band and we needed we needed a, a a fourth or fifth ear and he really took parts here you know cut some parts here chopped some parts here added parts here and really made the songs flow a little bit better than we had him initially. And I, it, it's just been a great partnership. So we went back to David for the second album, which this was a full length album. Um, the first one was just a, a five song EP. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're really excited about it. And we were so excited to go back and work with David. And it was just a, you know, and this one was a little smoother transition because we'd already all worked together and been together. So. Perfect. Great. Um, I listened to, um, uh, no peace, no love. It's kind of a tongue in cheek on uh, happy wife, happy life. But on That's the right. opposite <laughs> side, you're very, you're very um, ambidextrous in the way that there's another song that's pretty powerful about mental health. Tell us about that because that's a great, uh, that's a great, um, some, it's a great thing to write about, especially these days. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So I, I can speak a little bit for Bubba. Bubba does most of the writing. He does. He writes all the words. And, uh, and comes in with the ideas and then we kind of as a band take with them. But the, the whole album was really based more on the COVID. So, yeah. um, you know, Don't Look Back is basically a song that was what we did in the past or what somebody in their life has done in the past. And then you have this big sort of um, shutdown or even even if it's not COVID, shutdown or you mentally shut down and like, you know what, I had some negativity in my life. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to do positive memories. I mean, so that's what Don't Look Back's about. Here I Am is about, obviously, with COVID, people got very lonely. People didn't go out. People had mental stress because life quit, basically, on us. And so Here I Am is about, listen, if life gets you down and, um, and, and, and you're mentally done and you're physically done and the – in your mind, the only alternative is to end it all. Mm. Um, this song is Please Don't. There's always a friend in need. There's always somebody you can call who's there to help you. And that's what the song Here I Am is about. Um, you know, uh, you're never alone. Here I am. You always have a friend. So, uh, and, and that's very important, you know, because, you know, we support, um, you know, we have very, 
very various things that we support. And then, and, you know, your military has PTSD, uh, law enforcement, rescue, fire, everybody, even everyday workers, mothers who are full time, single mothers, single father, everybody, everybody goes through a mental challenge. But we just want people to know there's somebody there that's uh, there to help. Yeah, and you said it perfectly. I've always kind of said that, too, about um Whenever I would see a, a friend struggling or something, it's just kind of a thing that it's always I would say, you know what, no matter how bad you think you have, all you have to do is look around your kind of circle of friends or acquaintances uh, that are pretty close. And there's people that have it worse than, than we do. Right. Absolutely. And, you know, the funny thing is, is I think the other thing that we, we try to stress is nobody likes to ask for help. We all we all know that, you know, I can do it myself. I'm, um, you know. Guys, uh, I, I'll get through it. I'll get through it. Uh, women, I can't speak on that. But, but you know, it doesn't matter who you are. There's always – everybody needs help in life a little bit, whether – even if you give them $5 or something or you give them a ride or something, everybody needs help, you know? Mm -hmm. And so don't be afraid to ask, you know? And that's 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 really what the song's about. And um, it's a great song, and it's a great video. It's out now, and I, I would suggest people – um going to see it and, and then i just found out before i got on the interview today i think today's world mental health day so um i, I see people posting that so if that's the case please go go see this video i, I think it's it's you know it's a powerful song of course everybody's going to say i'm pedaling because i'm in the band but man i'll tell you when i first heard it i i it was powerful even when bubba played it for us i mean it's just it gets you it really does so, I'll put the link for the video um, in the description box for people to see. We appreciate and, it. Yeah, well, I don't mind asking for help. So if anybody wants to go fund me, send a check to uh, – I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. Here. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I think you're, you guys are going to do okay because I, I've heard this album. And, uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be great. So um, it comes out on the 27th. I'll put the links in the description box as well. Um, okay. Favorite uh, Canadian – because this is uh this interview is uh being broadcast from Canada, eh? But actually, ninety five percent of my uh, subscribers are American, so I love my American brothers and sisters. Favorite Canadian drummer? How about that? Wow, and that's a tough question because uh, I don't um or well, or band I mean, Neil 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 Peart actually is one, um, but even a band. I, I'm, I'm, well, I'm going to say this, and and I don't know the drummer's name, and I'm I'm a fan. I mean, I don't I don't have the catalog, but I am really a fan of. I'm a fan of Triumph. Big. Fan Everybody's Triumph. a fan of Triumph. I'm a yeah. huge fan of Triumph. Who did I speak with just the other day that said Triumph was one of their favorite bands? I was speaking with um Maxime Petrucci from uh, Roxy from oh, Vixen. From, from Vixen, sure. Yeah, and actually, was it her or was it maybe Joey Belladonna? Any, anyway, no, it's Joey Belladonna. Oh, from Anthrax, sure. Yeah, sure. because he actually is singing on a Triumph tribute album that they're releasing. Really? And yeah, so it would be uh, Mike Moore is the drummer of Triumph, or Mike Le Mike Le Mike Levine. Sorry. Okay, you know, and I think I I may have known that. Like I said, I'm. I'm not, I mean, I'm a fan. I'm, I'll listen to anything they put out. But I mean, like, if you ask me who some other bands and the members are, I can name every one of them. But uh, yeah, but I, I do love Triumph. And and obviously, you know, um, being an American, knowing that everybody, it's Rush, you know, Rush, Rush, Rush. Everybody. Is, yeah, it's everybody. like, I I always. And that, and that drummer and that drummer's pretty good, you know. I mean, he's not a bad drummer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, it's it's Gilmore. <laughs> it's Gilmore's yeah. drummer of Rush or a Triumph story, but um, yeah. So uh, before I let you go, I know you have a few other pressers. Thanks, Chip. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Kevin, for setting this up. Um, what's the opposite of unsubscribe? Subscribe. Everybody, do as Sammy Lee of Red Rain says and subscribe to the channel. Check out the links below to the uh, website and uh, for um, Here I Am, and I'll put other uh, links for the other videos you have. And on the 27th, everybody go out and get this album. It's great, and I hope you enjoyed the George Lynch too, and uh, don't uh, look back. What a great sound. Yeah, and, and uh, I just want to say I really appreciate you helping support the band and bands like us that, uh, you know, we just want to be heard. But um, listen, all I ask is, Go take a listen. You don't have to like it. You you like it. We think you're going to like it. We're pretty sure you're going to like it. But just give us a chance. That's all we ever ask, you know. That's all you can ask for. I like it. <laughs>
All right, thanks, man.